What's up guys, Matt with Search Engineers here. Today we're gonna be talking about setting up conversion tracking through Bing into Shopify. This is gonna be a quick video. We're gonna jump right into it. All right, so you wanna open up Microsoft Advertising. Go at the top here, click Tools. Under Conversion Tracking, click UET Tag. Okay, over here you can see my main UET tag. What you want to do is you want to create a UET tag. I'll name mine test UET tag. What that's going to do is that's going to populate a little snippet of code. This is your universal event tracking tag. Okay, easy. You copy and paste this right here into the back end of your Shopify theme. So you want to click online store, actions, edit code. You're going to click theme.liquid, scroll down all the way right above your closing body tag, copy and paste that little snippet of code, and then click save. Now, one more spot we want to place this little snippet of code. Go under settings, check out, scroll down a little bit under additional scripts. You're going to place it there as well. Click save. You're all good. Now, one thing that you want to do, you want to download the Google Chrome extension, Microsoft Advertising UET Tag Helper. Just search for it in Google. It should be the first thing to pop up. You want to download that. Then what you can do is you can go into your website, make sure you have it tracking correctly, open your UET Tag Helper, turn it on, refresh your page, and then you will see this UET tag is set up correctly. Now, UET tag helper really does not work as well as Facebook Pixel or Google Analytics. It's not as high quality. It's just not the same at all. Uh, we have to go a step further to track uh, conversion values on our website. So the next thing we're going to do, go to tools at the top, conversion goals, create a conversion goal, conversion goals. Now, if you see here, it's given us the directions saying create your UET tag once, add the tracking code to your website. We did that. Now we're going to do create a conversion goal or an audience. So that's what we're doing right here. So there's a few ways to do this. We're going to do this in the, in the simplest way possible. We're going to do this by clicking create conversion goal. We're going to do this by destination URL. I'm just going to title this made a purchase. Um, scroll down a little bit. We're going to click next. Okay, select goal category purchase destination URL contains we're going to click destination you destination URL contains thank underscore you. So that is the handle of the purchase page, the, the thank you page for after somebody makes a purchase on Shopify. So that's the same for all Shopify stores. That is going to be the same for your store. That's easy way to do it. So you scroll down a little bit. Each conversion action has the same value under revenue value. Um, for This is the easier way to do it. There is a more complicated way to do it where you can customize your UET tag to track the exact number that the conversion is worth. We're going to do this the easier way. I can do that in a different tutorial. Now, each conversion action has the same value. If your average order value is 75 bucks, just do 75 bucks, whatever your average order value is. So scroll down a little bit here. This is all looking good. That's our UET tag. We're going to click save. Make sure you have your correct UET tag selected at the very end and then click save. You're all done. So that's going to automatically track all the conversion events in your Bing ads account. If somebody makes a purchase on your website, it's going to come up with the average order value that you created in your conversion tracking tag. That's it, guys. Now you know how to set up conversion goals inside of Bing to report all of the data that you have going on on your website. For any more tutorials, if you guys have any ideas, please leave a comment. Let me know. Please subscribe if you're getting value. Send me a like for the YouTube algorithm. And if there's anything else you guys need from me, please let me know. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.